guys, Tom Chomek here, the lead engineer behind the Panoscom platform, and I'm here today to talk about levels. So levels have been supported within Panoscom uh, ever since the launch of our tool. Now, they weren't supported by the Google API, uh, so even though you were designating certain islands as levels, uh, they weren't appearing that way in Google Maps. Uh, however, we've got some great news. Uh, the Google API now supports levels. Uh, so any of the tours that you've previously uh, marked the levels for uh, should now be able to show up as levels within Google Maps. Uh, and in order to do that, all you have to do uh, is go back to that tour where you've marked your levels, uh, go to the Publish section, and click Publish. After you've done that, Panoskin will resend the level information to Google API, and at this point, Google API uh, accepts that information uh, and will start displaying your scenes uh, as levels within Google Maps. Uh, now, this can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours to actually start showing, um, but it's as simple as just clicking the blue publish icon. Uh, now, you don't want to click unpublish because what that will do is it'll actually remove your scenes from maps. Uh, you do just want to click the publish button again, and that will, what that will do is just resend uh, some of the metadata back to Google. So what if you have islands, but you actually haven't converted them to levels yet? Well, no worries. Uh, you can go back to those tours as well. Uh, and converting an island to a level is actually very simple. Uh, as, as with before, all you have to do is select the Convert Island to Level uh, checkbox. And what that does is it converts that island to a level, uh, as denoted by the little L icon here to the left of the island name. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for my other three uh, three islands. Now, as you can tell, as you're doing this, uh, Panos can automatically creates a level name uh, and assigns a level number to your island. Now, this, this is done automatically for you. And what's nice is we've actually given you, uh, and we just added this recently to our UI, we've given you the ability of controlling the level number and the level name. So the level number is basically uh, the floor number. So a negative one uh, is, is, is the basement floor, uh, a zero is ground level, uh, and then a one is floor one, two is floor two, three is floor three, and so on. Uh, the level name uh, is the actual name for that level that shows up on Google Maps. So Panoskin automatically takes the level number and appends an L to it, uh, and it actually automatically designates the first island as, as ground level, the second island as the first level, the third island as the second level. Uh, now you have full control over this, so you can change this. So let's say for the lobby, I want to keep it at level of zero, uh, but I want to name it, uh, let's say, zero instead of L0. For pool, uh, I can do the same thing. Uh, you know, I'm going to rename this to one, uh, maybe rename this to two. Uh, equally, you can... You can uh, do some other three, uh, three letter combination. Uh, for example, for lobby, maybe you want to do LB. Uh, I'm just going to leave this as zero. Uh, and then once you've done that, uh, all you do is click save to save your uh, to save your information, and then go back to the publish section and click publish. Now again, it may take 24 to 48 hours for your scenes to start appearing as levels, but after that period of time, if you go back to your tour. Uh, you should start to see the levels. And as you can see here, the 0, the 1, and the 2 show up. And that concludes our screencast on levels. Thank you and stay tuned for more updates on PanelSkin.